All right, so we got another five inch FPV drone here from our friends at TCMMRC. And they're a store on AliExpress. If uh, those of you watching this video aren't familiar with who TCMMRC are, they are an FPV drone store. They sell their products on uh, AliExpress and um, most of their stuff, pretty much all their stuff is in the budget category. This one here happens to be $98, I think. When they sent this to me, it was $88. I did a video a while back. I'll link these those videos down in the video description, uh, the ones that I'm referring to. Did a video on the, the $88 quad last year. It was a fairly popular video. And um, it was a five inch sort of freestyle drone with the battery on top. This is sort of a racing style drone with the battery on the bottom. Um, they have a tendency to change their product specs from time to time. So when I released that video on that first $88 quad, it had a certain set of ESCs, I think it was like a 30 or 35 amp ESC, and then later on they switched it to a 45 amp ESC, I believe, um, and with different motors. And so I'm going to tell you what this particular one comes with on mine, but and just keep in mind that I will link this down in the video description. You should check that product description because it'll, if they change the parts, uh, it'll be noted in the product description. So when you click the link, if you're watching this sometime in the far future, make sure you check the specs to see that the parts are going to be what you think they're going to be or what you uh, are expecting because it might, it might not be the same as what you're seeing in this video. So just keep that in mind. Um, generally speaking, they're... You know, to get the prices as low as possible, they're basically, um, I think they're getting like excess inventory parts from various places and and then putting them into certain models. In this case here, this is, um, they're calling this the iX5. It is a single bottom plate here. This is like a really old design. I think, um, I think iFlight made something like this a while back. It might've been called the iX5, I don't remember. It was a long time ago. This is a very old style what you have here. Analog drone, of course, I don't believe they make anything DJI anyway. 2206 motors, I believe they're 2300 kV, 2300 kV. And then you have a you know, pretty standard 30 by 30 stack. Uh, in this case, it's a 50 amp 4-in-1 ESC. It's BL Heli S, not, uh, not BL Heli 32. And F405 flight controller. And uh, some of them have plugs here. The, there's no um, wiring diagram for this flight controller anywhere that I could find. They might be selling this part separately, so you might want to check that listing. If I find it, I'll let, link it down in the video description. If you want to know the um, uh, wiring uh, for that flight controller, if you want to add a different receiver, it is easiest to just add an XM Plus receiver, which is what I did. Uh, it's right there on top, and then it plugs in um, right in the back there, and this is one of these uh, three pin connectors, signal, power in the middle, and ground, and, and you just cut that off. I had one of these from a previous build, and I just pulled this XM, um, this XM Plus receiver, it's a FreeSky XM Plus receiver, I pulled that off of another build that has a, a similar flight controller with that plug, and it's basically it's plug and play for me, but of course you have to do some soldering if you want to put it into your build. Uh, similarly, another 30 by 30 uh, video transmitter part here, 600 milliwatt max power. You do have to use the button to change the power bands and channels, of course, on this one, like on previous models, because the smart audio is not wired on this one and set up, so you only have three wires there. That's the plug. You have power, ground, and signal, the video signal. One of these um, is also for with the, they pulled the cable out for smart audio in this model. They tend to do that. I'm not sure why. Yishin did that as well, so I think this is, I don't know why they do that, but they, you can add another wire on here. I did a video a long time ago on how to add that, but I just wanted to fly it. It's, uh, it comes on race band one, I believe, 56, 58, and uh, I don't know what the output power is. Um, I was, uh, it, you see in the, the footage here, I think it was probably at like 100 or 200 milliwatts, Nothing amazing. Uh, if you're not flying too far away, you should be fine without having to change any of the settings. I think it comes on uh, race band one out of the box. And then you got your standard, uh, some some sort of a CMOS camera here. Pretty narrow field of view. Um, 
don't know what the lens here. It's like a 2.1 millimeter lens, I believe. Uh, I think 26 millimeter full size FPV analog camera here. This is the same camera that was on the $88 quad from last year as well. So they have a lot of sort of same parts. I think this motor here is actually a racer, no, real ACC. Yeah, real ACC uh, 2206, 2600 KV, sorry. I, I, I forgot what this KV was. So 4S set up here and I'm, I'm running a 4S uh, 1300 on this one on Fluid XT60 here for, on the, for the battery connection. Did have to add some sticky pad stuff here in the back. This is my my own addition. Battery strap was included, and then the tape here was also included. You can see that this is this, these real ACC e machine type motors have this crappy um, motor wire. Uh, you know, if you don't like this frame but you like the parts, you can always transfer them over to another build. This is what I did with the eighty eight dollar quad. I did a video on that one as well, where I converted to DJI. So obviously, these parts are budget. Under 100 bucks for this setup here, that you should probably expect, uh, you know, in terms of performance to be uh, in that range, something that's appropriate for under $100. If you're expecting to spend $100 and take this to your next uh, local FPV race and beat everybody else with the more expensive $300 racers, I uh, I'm not sure if that's a realistic expectation. Of course, granted, if you're an amazing pilot, maybe compared to everyone else, um, perhaps you could win it. Who knows? Uh, you know, people have always complain that I, I take these quads and then I, I juice them up or whatever, and I don't do I don't juice up anything. I basically take it out of the box. I plug in the receiver, I bind it to my transmitter, and I put I just go fly it. And they're like, well, how come it flies so much better than when I got it? And I'm like, well, I've been flying for 10 years and I know how to fly stuff that maybe is a little bit less than stellar quality compared to the beginner. I guess, you know, a lot of beginners have really high expectations where they, can, they think they can spend $100 and get something that flies better than what Mr. Steel can fly something. I don't know where that comes from necessarily, but yeah, I'm just telling you that if that's your expectation, I don't think that's realistic and you should probably uh, not expect that. So basically, you know, bottom line is you get what you pay for at the end of the day. Um, that doesn't come with a pit tune. It just comes with, uh, I think, Betaflight 430 with the stock um, Betaflight PIDs with no no tuning, no, no, no filtering whatsoever. So you see that in the flying that you get um, on, especially on the flips, you get you'll see it on the uh, on the roll axis. You'll see a little bit of bounce back. Of course, you could uh, probably filter that out and you know, probably boost up the. I think you, if you boost up the, um, um, I think maybe the D gains that'll help with that. Um, possibly if you use uh, one of the Betaflight presets for a five inch, that could help with this one here. I I didn't bother to do all that because. Um, the parts on this one might change later. So uh, going th going through all the trouble of making a you know a tune and a seal up and all that is kind of pointless because um, someone took one of my previous CLI dumps on one of my old videos and the parts changed on theirs and was different from what I was presenting in my video and they ended up burning some motors and stuff like that. So that's why I don't provide those things those anymore because the manufacturers tend to tweak their their uh, specifications from time to time and which what you're going to see in my video may not apply to what you have um, therefore a CLA dump is pretty dangerous in that case you you know might have a part that doesn't match and then you'll either most of the times it won't even fly but in the case where you can't arm it then sometimes bad things happen like flyaways burn motors ECs etc stuff like that but again you know basically back on the whole you know you get what you pay for here uh, you're not going to get a lot of support from that store. They, they may respond to an email or two here or there, but for the most part, you're going to be on your own in terms of the setup. Um, for, you know, it's not really that difficult you know, if you've done setups on uh, FPV drones before, but if you're a beginner, you may find that pretty difficult. I'll put a, a link to a video where I have, I have some sort of general tips on how to set up an FPV drone. I'll put that in the video description if you happen to get this and not sure how to put it together, but uh, yeah, basically you have to put a receiver on here. That's the hardest part. And then you have to bind it to your transmitter. So you have to make sure that the receiver and the transmitter have 
match, and then you have to tune your um, goggles or whatever you're, uh, you're, you're using to tune into the video feed to the uh, channel that this is on, and mine came on Raceband 1. Yours may or may not be on that channel, so you might have to search for that. So at the end of the day, how does this fly? Given the fact that it has a basic you know, tune on here, like basically no tunes, just stock pid tunes, a pid tune out of a beta flight, um, it's okay for what it is. And, and, and you know, if you're if you're expecting to take this to a competitive race and and you know start beating people, it's not going to be good for this that that particular purpose. If you just want something to fly, kind of cruise around, um, maybe you're you're not necessarily a beginner beginner, but maybe you're you. You, you want to move on from something like whoops or for something like that to maybe a little bit something a little bit bigger and i want to fly in a more open area this is not a bad quad to try uh, as long as you're not going to be crashing it like a lot uh, if you already kind of know how to fly um, this, is, this is this will be fine for that purpose uh, i don't really know how this is going to hold up in terms of severe crashes because this frame is only a four millimeter thick bottom plate and most likely uh, it's a single piece right so if you break it then you have to, re you have to replace the whole frame so i would not recommend this for uh, any sort of situations where you might be crashing it frequently i'm sure for like light, light crashes in like a soccer field or some sort of grassy area this is probably not going to be too heavily damaged uh, as long as you're not going too fast but if you're uh, going to be flying into like trees or concrete walls or that kind of thing. I don't think this is the, the best frame for this. It's not one of those tank frames where it's going to be able to handle a lot of abuse. And I'm sure these parts are not going to be able to handle that level of abuse either. But again, you know, for casual flying, for the money, it's under $100. You know, it does the job. You see, you know, the kind of flying I'm doing in the sample footage here. You know, it flies. It's not amazing. Um, but if that's all you're looking for, maybe you want to put, put a little HD camera on here, like an Action 2 or something like that, to get some uh, HD footage, you can do that too. This is going to be totally fine for something like that, uh, get some like sort of cruising type flying and cinematic footage. Anyway, links to everything down in the video description. Uh, that'll do for this one. Talk to you guys in the next video.